Hello there. Uh, today I'm going to change cartridge in an older faucet. Uh, it was made by Moen. This is 25 years old. It's not a positive faucet. It's one of the original style um, mixing valves that they come out with. Um, and it has a teardrop handle on it. And it takes a 12 25 cartridge as you can see. It pulls out and turns from the cold to the hot. Um, first thing we have to do is get this cap off here and with the teardrop they snap in there pretty good so you I take a utility knife and be very careful to try and get that little tab started. Once I start I'll take a screwdriver and there we go. So you need a felt screwdriver. <coughs> that and sometimes you don't have to remove the scutching depending how far the uh, faucet was roughed in through the wall. We'll see what happens here. Okay so we're in luck with this one. Um, scutching and stay on. So there's a little uh, retaining clip and I forgot my own rule here. Um, always plug the drain to the bathtub, shower, or a basin or a sink when working around the uh, faucet just in case you drop something down there. You don't want to end up losing it and spending an hour or so trying to trying to get it. So there's our little clip. You just take that out. Um, and there's the new cartridge. Uh, the, the plastic um, little tool that comes with it. It's gray now. I see they've changed it. There's an original white one, but it's identical in color. So uh, we take that, we slide it in like so. Oh. And they put this little ring on here. It really doesn't serve a purpose. Not in this faucet, anyway. So we have the nut in there. And we're going to just give it a turn, move it back and forth. That breaks the seal in the faucet. And there's the old faucet. Feels pretty good there. Or so there's the old cartridge. See a little bit of the mineral build up in that. And we're going to take our new cartridge that comes pre-greased. We're going to slide it in here like so. And <clears throat> in order for the two tabs, and these are the two tabs um, on the top and the bottom, they have to be perpendicular with the uh, at the floor so in order for them to be completely perpendicular in order to fit in there we're going to give just a little bit of a turn just to get that clip in place and it's almost there one more little pump Sometimes you have to play around with it just to get it right into the exact spot. Now we're just going to reverse the order. Here's our chrome sleeve. Just going to take that, slide it through like so. Put our handle in place. I'm just going to run downstairs, turn the water on here. I'm going to actually uh, put the handle on, run downstairs, and I'll turn the water on just to see if the cold is on the, uh, the right or the left. If the hot is on the right hand side, all I'm going to do is take my channel locks, spin this 180 degrees, just the center brass piece of stock, 180 degrees, that'll put the hot on the left hand side. And that's all that's to it. I hope uh, your project goes as well. Just 
I'll do for the time being. And that's it. Have a great day.